My name is Brian. I go by composer in the music industry. That's my producer name. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Grammy nominated, multi-platinum. I've worked with everybody from Akon to Christina Aguilera to Chris Brown to Kehlani. Hate talking about myself, but we're here. I do not use a template because I feel personally that a template immediately puts you in a box and creativity is supposed to be free and open. Uh, but I do find myself drifting toward making the loop first. So whatever the music is first, whatever it's gonna be, I'm a sound designer. And I usually like to just design the sound because that gives me the mood that I'm gonna be in. The Keystep Pro in my creative process plays a huge role when it comes to sequencing. I can just hit the step edit and just literally just is right there. And it makes it really easy to just get things that I wouldn't normally play or I wouldn't normally think of, you know? And then I'm usually surprised at what comes out of it because it's usually random. And then that sparks ideas immediately. And the chord mode, big, big part. flute from the Matrix Brute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I started sound designing seriously when I got into vintage synths. So I got my Juno 106 maybe like six years ago. And that was the first that was my introduction into really creating sounds from scratch, from like an initial patch, basically, from a saw wave or a sine wave. And that really ties into how I feel about Arturia because you guys allow us to sound design just like the original keyboards, you know? And I love that. But that's how I started with the Juno 106. That's how I started. And then, then came Eurorack. And then and now I'm down the rabbit hole and I can't come back. It's over. <laughs> That's sick. That's sick. Whew. Okay, now let's put it in here. I sound design starting with the basics. What are the basics? Attack, decay, sustain, and release. And then you can go everywhere else. People like, they make the mistake of trying to do all this and all that. Like, nah, just keep it simple and start with the ADSR and you'll be surprised at what you get just from that. Once I have everything in place, especially with the drum track, when all the drums are there, you can repeat different steps of your step sequence 
And then that gives you a whole other pattern that you weren't even expecting. And I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hitting 1 16th and letting it see what happens. You know what I mean? It's just... Perfect. That was literally a perfect take. I love that. Let's try our trusty dusty OBX AV plugin. I see the pad or something. And we're just gonna, it's gonna simple MIDI guys. Simple MIDI. Keystep Pro can do that too, okay? You know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I mean? That's actually fire right there. And no one. Actually went very well. my workflow is just uninterrupted and seamless, which Arturia allows me to do with the Keystep Pro, with the Key Lab, with the plugins, just the ease of use and the integrated nature of all of it. It's almost like I'm not working, you know what I mean? And that helps me with my creative flow. You know, cool little track, you know, experimenting, experimental track, as it were pretty much all Keystep Pro, minus a little pad in the end right there. Okay, this is what you do without the Keystep Pro. You have to have different outs going into every single different thing. You have to have cables that are syncing other things. Everything's separate. And with Keystep Pro, you can just, it's all right there and integrated in, this, in one place. Track one, track two, track three, track four. Easy, done. All the connectivity on the back, Fire. I need that pitch gate for the Eurorack. I need that. I needed that. <laughs> we all needed that. Mm -hmm.